Hi friends, welcome to Airdrop Spot. In today's video, we are going to be interacting with OpenEX Testnet. That is the airdrop that we have been claiming in our Satoshi app for about a year now. So to begin with, we are visiting agiex.org slash long slash faucet. So when you want to connect your wallet, you have to ensure that the wallet you are connecting is the same wallet that you claimed your core with when we were claiming our core airdrop 10. That is the same wallet that you should use for this testnet. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to claim testnet USDT. So tap on claim testnet USDT. Uh, so when you want to claim your testnet USDT, you have to, you need to have mainnet core uh, in your wallet, in that wallet you are using. So I do not have mainnet core, you can see, at that moment. So it, it did not go through. So I had to pause at this stage, then I went back into my wallet, I deposited some mainnet core into my wallet, then I tried again, and it is going on successfully this time. So it is going to cost you 0.001 mainnet core as gas fee for you to be able to claim their uh, usdt from faucet so you need to put that into consideration so you can see i have successfully claimed the token though it is going to take a few minutes before the usdt is going to arrive in my wallet so the next item is to add long test net chain to our metamask so tap on that and automatically it is going to add it to your metamask then you are going to switch your network so let's visit my wallet you can see that the usdt have not yet arrived so i paused again and waited for the usd to arrive and then it is here now you can see i was given one usdt from faucet so next is the testnet explorer you really have nothing to do here but just in case you need to check up on a transaction you can just click on it search your wallet address search a transaction hash and all that so let's go back so next is to perform testnet swap so let's tap on the fourth item this is going to take us to long.swaps.openex.network now let's connect our wallet i will be choosing metamask now i will be swapping uh from my usdt balance i have i have one at this moment i'll be swapping it to oex so i won't swap everything so that i can have enough for gas fee i'll be swapping 0 0.8 and then i'll swap this to oex So you can decide to add OEX to wallet, just tap on add OEX to wallet. Now tap on close. Now if you take note, you would see that my balance is now has now increased to 10 USDT. And after this stage, I'll be showing you how I got that 10 USDT. But for now, I want to make two swaps. I'll be swapping USDT into OSSL, so I'm swapping 3 USDT. And I am also swapping USDT into long. I'll be swapping 3 USDT into long as well. So we'll be making use of both long and OSSL in the later stage and I'll also be showing you how I got the 10 USDT. Okay, so now I am done swapping into OSSL and long and then let's move on to the next stage. And we are visiting long.hop.openex.network slash vote. So I'm going to put all the links in the comment section for your convenience. So here you can also participate in OpenEx proposal and I'll be showing you what you need to do in order to participate but first you are going to connect your wallet. Now wallet is connected. Before you can participate in anything, you need to perform KYC. And to do that, you are going to tap on faucet. Now, based on your preferred language, tap on start. I speak English, so I'll tap on start. You can also do Korean or Chinese. Tap on sign. 
Now we have about five questions here and you need to answer the five questions correctly and that is your KYC. If you pass the question then you can have access to every other thing on the website. So you will see the answers I'm choosing, they are the ones in green so you can take note of that when you want to do your own. Now tap on submit and then sign the submission in your wallet. So you can see the quiz have been passed successfully and 10 USDT has been sent to your wallet. That was how I got the 10 USDT earlier. Now the next step we are going to be doing some staking so tap on stake. And here we are supposed to stake long and then get OSSL in return like a liquid staking. Okay, so I'll tap on max so that I can stake everything I have in my balance. So when you tap on max, you would see when you uh, indicate the number of long that you want to stake, you will see the number of OSSL that you can get in return. Then tap on stake. Then you're going to approve the staking. However, the transaction was failing. I tried again when I tap on stake, it will show uh, transfer failed automatically. I didn't even get to approve in my wallet, the transaction kept failing. So, the essence of coming here to stake is for you to stake long, then get OSSL, and then you are going to need that OSSL to participate in governance votes. However, since staking of long keeps failing, Remember that we swapped into OSSL also before. That is why we swapped into OSSL so that we can have it. Now that I have OSSL, even if I didn't get it from staking, then I can go ahead and use the OSSL that I have before to participate in their governance votes. So to do that, I will switch over to the vote tab. So there is one active proposal that we can vote on currently. Now before you go ahead to tap on agree or disagree button, you need to know what you are voting for. What if it is something that will not favor you? So to do that, tap on that the title of that voting, there is actually a drop down button there. So just tap on the drop down and then you can read more about the proposal you want to vote on to, so that you will not decide that you are supposed to belong to and you know what the proposal has to do with you. Now once you are done going through the proposal, just tap on that title again. Now tap on max so that you can use all of your OSSL for your voting power then decide whether you want to agree with the proposal or you want to go against the proposal. And then you are going to confirm that action in your wallet. Tap on approve. So this is how governance votes works. The more uh, voting power that you have, the more access you have to various proposals and the lesser voting power that you have, the less access that you have to proposals and you may not even have um, access to any proposal depending on what the, require, the minimum requirement for voting power is depending on the platform that you are using. In the case of uh, OpenEX, OSSL is required for your voting power so you want to make sure that you have uh, enough OSSL so that you can have access to all of the proposals that are available. So our voting is successful. I got the successful prompt now. So let's go back. And then we can also go to the bridge and interact with it. Although in this video, I won't be doing any interaction because uh, this bridge is prompting me to switch over to mainnet. So I have no idea whether this is a bug or maybe that is how it is designed to function. So if you want to use the bridge, you need to switch to mainnet and then you need to have USDL on mainnet core and then you're going to bridge it over to long chain. Now, if you switch to the claim tab, you can burn your OSSL so that you can gain some long in return. Remember that I spent everything on my voting power just now. So my balance is zero. I have nothing to burn. 
But in case you have some OSSL left, just indicate the amount that you want to burn and then the amount of long you are going to get in return will be displayed then tap on claim. Now let's switch over to the reward tab. And here we can stake our OEX and then get AGI in return as a reward. So remember that OEX was the first token that we swapped into in the earlier part of this video. So indicate the amount of OEX that you want to stake. And then you can approve the stake in your wallet. Now once the approval is done, you are also going to get the confirmation prompt to confirm the staking in your wallet as well to complete the transaction. So you can also decide to switch over to the withdraw tab and also withdraw uh, some part of your OEX but I won't be doing any withdrawal. So let's switch over to their launch tab and here we can participate in their launch pad. And to participate in their launch pad, you need to... So you need to have at least 1000 AGI to be able to participate in this launch pad. And before you can get 1000 AGI, you need to spend minimum of 1 OEX. Now, before you can have 1 OEX, you need to make many swaps from USDT into OEX so that you can have enough to spend and then get AGI. Now I have 0.1 OEX, let's try that out. If I tap on max, you see that it continues to bring 1 OEX. That is the minimum that you can spend here in order to get AGI. So I won't be doing anything on this uh, page as well. So in this video, we have interacted with as many features of OpenEX as possible. The, the only two we could not interact with was the bridging feature and the launchpad feature. The bridging was because it requires mainnet and I did not have the uh, required token. And then the launchpad because of the, min the minimum amount of OEX that is required. So I think that will be all for this video. If I missed something that we are supposed to do but I did not do it, please let me know in the comment section, share with us so that we can also work on it. Now I don't think that it is a must that you do this testnet, however, I urge everybody to just go ahead and do it because you do not want anything to hinder you when it is time to claim your OpenEX reward from your Satoshi app that we have been you know working on since last year. So if you have any question, drop me a comment in the comment section of this video. If you have found value in any of my content before, then make sure to give me a like on this video and also subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in another tutorial.